If you like lemon desserts, then you gotta stick around for today's recipe because we're making lemon pudding cake. Now, if you've never had this before, what it is is a nice cake with a very with two layers. The top layer is cake-like, but very light, and the bottom layer is like a pudding, hence the name. This is creamy and very citrusy, and if you love lemon, man, this is it. It's great to take to parties. You know, if you have a potluck and you need to bring a dish, this is the one you might wanna try. It's simple and easy. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make this right after my chef joke. Why did the lemon stop rolling down the hill? Because it ran out of juice. <laughs> We're gonna start off here by prepping up our pan. I have an eight by eight dish here, baking dish, that is just being smothered with some butter. I have some softened butter. Just rub it around with your fingers until you coat all the sides and the bottom of the pan. Then we'll just set that aside. So let's start off here by separating three eggs. All right, I'm gonna put the whites in this little glass bowl here and the yolks in the other bowl. This is the easiest way I have found to separate eggs from egg yolks, okay? So uh, just crack that egg and pour it into your hand. There's no sharp edges and you just toss it back and forth and usually it comes out intact. Now my one egg yolk did break, but uh, you wanna keep it all in the yolk bowl. So just keep tossing that egg back and forth as the egg white just drips right through your fingers. We'll set these two bowls aside and then start working on some maple syrup. We're gonna be adding this to a very large bowl. And this is what we're using to sweeten our cake. To that, we're gonna add some melted butter. So at this point, I like to take the hand mixer and just combine everything really well. And now we'll drop in those egg yolks and mix those in as well. Continue to mix this for about one minute on medium speed. This recipe calls for a little bit of flour, so I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, which is gluten-free, but you can use regular flour if you like. You wanna place the flour into a strainer so that you can shake it in and not have any lumps. So just shake some in and then mix it with your hand mixer. And then add a little bit more and then just continue until it's all mixed in. Now remember, you can find the written recipe below the video in the description area. So just click down there until you find it and scroll down. Now I'm gonna zest two whole lemons into this batter. So you wanna do it just one swipe and rotate your lemon. You don't wanna get down to the white part because it's bitter. So just stick with one swipe and that will get you all those nice lemon oils. And since we're going to be juicing our lemons, you're gonna to wanna to zest first and juice second. I like to use a handheld citrus juicer like I have here to squeeze those lemons just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. So we're adding five tablespoons of lemon juice here, which is just enough to pucker your lips. All right, now we're gonna mix that in. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of almond extract. This really adds a nice flavor to the cake along with a cup of whole fat milk. Now you can use any milk alternative that you like, but uh, I think you need to use some with some fat in it. All right, we're gonna add a pinch of salt and then we're gonna mix this up one more time. And don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's time to whip those egg whites into some nice stiff peaks. But before I do, I'm gonna add some cream of tartar. This is gonna to help to stabilize the egg whites. So I'm gonna start blending the egg whites first and then I'm gonna sprinkle in the cream of tartar. It will probably take three or four minutes to get some nice stiff peaks like you see here. Now you wanna add about a third of the egg whites to the mix and mix it with the beater. Mix this until it's pretty well mixed in and you don't notice the egg whites. Okay, so mixing this with the beaters is going to lighten up the batter, and then we're gonna add the rest of the egg whites and we're gonna fold them in with a spatula. Just be patient here and keep on folding. Start from the center and just kinda move it around until it looks something like this, well blended. We're gonna pour our luscious batter into our prepared baking dish. The cool part about this cake is when it bakes, it will bake into two layers. 
I'm going to place this into the center of my oven and bake it for 35 minutes. It must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. Why do lemons wear suntan lotion? Because they peel. <laughs> Here's our lemon pudding cake after 35 minutes in the oven. I bought some toasted almonds from Trader Joe's and I think it's an excellent addition to this. It gives it a nice little texture. The crunch is really nice. I think this cake is great right out of the oven, nice and warm, but some people also like it cold. So either way works. What's really amazing is when it cooks, it actually separates on its own into two layers. So we got the very light top layer and then the bottom is like pudding. If you love lemon, this is a definite must try. And if you're a lemon fanatic, you're gonna to wanna to try my lemon tiramisu. This thing is incredibly delicious as well. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. Did you enjoy today's video? How about the jokes? Well, if you did enjoy it, let me know by smashing the old like button, all right? Leave me a comment, because I always love to hear from you, and we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.